Hey guys, this is Matt with remove-malware.com and uh, tonight I'm going to be doing a test on Panda's cloud antivirus. I know you've seen me review this in the past, but it's kind of come a little bit further and I'm looking for a free antivirus that is light because I've had a rash of customers lately that um, that have uh, you know 512 megabytes of RAM some of these little old ladies even have like you know 256 megabytes of RAM and um, most of the free antiviruses out there are a little bit too heavy I'm talking about Microsoft Security Essentials especially it's, an, it's a nice an, uh, antivirus but it's way heavy on RAM uh, Avira, I can't stand all of its pop-ups, and I know you can disable it, but I'm, I can't break the terms of service since I'm a business. And um, Avast, it's a little heavy too. Uh, probably the lighter of those three though. But Cloud AV, it seems to run really, really well um, on these older machines. I'm not sure how effective it is, but I was thinking, but thinking about pairing it up with. Uh, uh, maybe sandboxy uh, or just leaving it alone by itself so I want to see how far they've come and I'm just gonna this is not really a review because you've already seen me review it but um, just come along with me on this test and let's see how it does so what this test will be is just I'll download pandas um, cloud antivirus We'll do the usual thing, you know, we throw 10 of the latest zero-day malicious URLs against it. Cloud AV. And then um, I'll go ahead and run, uh, oh, I'll probably run in a couple of scanners against it afterwards and see if it missed anything, or, you know, what was left over. So I'm just on Google, I'm just doing a search for Cloud AV. You can see they're in the news right now um, because they released a pro version the other day. And also, I'm sorry if I'm a little slow tonight. I don't have my glasses. They're being repaired, and I'm like a mess without them. My right eye is giving me like super headache. So, anyway. You can see it's tiny, tiny, 236 kilobytes. This is a downloader, basically. It'll download the main application. Uh, so that's what we're going to download to the desktop. Let me go full screen here. And we'll save that to the desktop. It's super fast, instant download. You can see the little panda. You can also see I'm getting ready to work with a defense wall. I'm waiting for the 302 release, which I'm actually helping out on tonight with a developer. Well, let's go ahead and run this thing. So it goes ahead and it downloads the main module, which by itself is, is quick, very quick. I'm guessing their subscriber base to this little application has, you know, drastically in increased since I took a look at it maybe four or five months ago. I think it's been that long. Does a little self-extraction here. This probably takes the longest, you know, depending on what kind of PC you have. I'm running this in a virtual machine, as you guys, most of you already know. A lot of people keep asking me to do these reviews where I take a highly infected machine and then try to clean it. And I already know what the best way to clean a machine is, but some people just, I don't even know, they just want to see it like it's a sport or something. So maybe I'll do those again just for the hell of it, just for fun. So yeah, I'm home tonight. Business is really slow when the weather is cool. Calls go way down. When the weather's hot or freezing, I'm busy. So I thought, 
since I'm not doing anything, might as well get busy on some videos. Now, a couple of announcements. Um, I think I'm going to say this every time. If you have a question about a particular application, don't um, private message me or email me. Just ask it right on the forums. It's remove-malware.com slash forums. Or you can find a link on the remove-malware.com site. Okay, so you can see our little panda down here. Uh, <laughs> well, it's basically saying that uh, the cloud antivirus cannot open. The console cannot open. Uh, cloud antivirus isn't running right. Okay, wait a second. It was just taking a second. So this is their new little window. It says, congratulations, you can now start protecting your computer with cloud antivirus. What do you want, the free or the pro edition? Uh, the pro edition is pretty cheap. It's like $29.95 for one year. Um, and then it goes up, you know, two years, three years. And the pro edition has some nice stuff there, some, some extra stuff, which um, I guess I'll buy it. Or maybe one of their guys can send me a key for two weeks or something. And I'll um, review that one too. So hit finish. I'm sure they don't like me though. I've never really regarded this highly. <laughs> it didn't do that well. But I keep coming back to it, so they must say something. So automatically you just don't have to update. There are no there are no updates. So you can see it's just protecting us right now. Got a big old check mark. If I uh go into oh, where are the settings? down here you can see oh hey automatically vaccinate USB drives well they want you to pay for that which is fine that's right everybody needs a little money these days can't blame them um, I just clicked advanced settings it says scan behavioral blocking uh, if I try to enable behavioral analysis, it's another um, pay thing. That's the big part of the of the paid version there. It's really not much. I mean, you can add exclusions and things like that, but this thing's ready to roll as soon as you install it. So as you can see, the pan is down there. Let's just get busy right away. Um, we'll just go look up some malware so we'll go to malware domain list and we'll go to the MDL and these are just zero day threats you can use to test stuff out on and you can see it gives you a description this is what I always look at um, and then the release date which is today so this is an EXE I'm not looking for a certain number, I just want to know how decent it works. And I'm going on the assumption that it can only get better because more and more people may be using it. So I think what I'm going to do is put the MDL on my host machine here. Okay, let's go to Firefox. Host machine's getting pounded. Oh, we'll not do that one. Let's go with IE. Okay. We'll just place that in there. Oop. Oh, no, 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 no. I almost downloaded that uh, bot to my main computer. Whoops. Malware domain list. Open up the MDL right there. Okay. 
URL. Go back in my virtual machine. Let's keep it minimized. Alright, and um, I think what I'll do is open up Task Manager. Now, I can't catch all this malware um, loading in the Task Manager, but I can get sort of an idea of some things that are missed if anything happens. It's kind of a crude way to do it, but I mean, it's really my only option right now. Okay, let's move this out of the way. We'll hit run. This is my first URL. Okay, so it caught that one. This is one virus neutralized. That's a zero day threat, so that's good. Let's go back to my second link, which is a TDSS thing. kind of big. Don't really see anything. <clears throat> I notice that sometimes it takes a little while while it's examining a threat. And I can only assume that it's like, you, you know, scanning the cloud or some crap like that. So I'm seeing some kind of funky EXE. I'm not used to seeing that. What is that? Internet low mic utility tool? <laughs> that doesn't look good to me. I could be wrong, but I don't think I've ever heard of that. Okay, I guess I just got to count that one as missed. Let's see if the antivirus is intact still. Yeah, it looks alright. Alright, well. It may come up. I don't know. It's taken a while, but um, I see some action with the antivirus. Anyway, uh, so we're one for one. So I'll go one, zero. We'll go to number three. And number three is an exploit kit. Never fun to deal with. It's trying to trying to drop down all kinds of junk. Let's see what it says. Download file. I may end up, I may end up going in and out of full screen mode because it's going to be kind of tough for me to like move around. So let's see. I don't really see anything. Don't know if it didn't work or wasn't blocked. I just don't know whether to count that one or not. Don't save that. This is all kind of weird. Um, let's go with the Trojan.
lots of Internet Explorers open right now. One virus deleted. Okay. I'll say, hmm, number three. I don't know what that was. I guess I'll say one. One. Can't really count it as blocked. I'll just say, not sure. There's nothing really happened that, that I could see. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab some more here. Stupid fly. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and grab another Trojan from a different server. Oh, I guess that was the exploit. Do not show this message again. Yeah, I guess this PC might have been updated, so these probably wouldn't work, these exploits. Might be stuck with all Trojans for this test. EXE.EXE. .exe. Something's running wow exec. I would have to venture that that got through. So that one got through. Zero. You can tell I didn't really <laughs> prepare for this. I was just uh, driving home thinking maybe I should do this test. Because I'm looking for some new stuff. Alright, let's go for the Zeus version 3 Trojan. annoying. Um, well, Microsoft's uh, IE8 caught it, but we'll say disregard and download the message anyway. One virus neutralized. Uh, to me, it seems like it's really improved. Of course, I haven't seen anything really hit the box yet that's been bad. Let me just reload my malware domain list. Malware domain list. Hmm. There it is. Okay, that's a Zeus. Fake page, rogue main file. I d most things can't even catch a rogue, um, but we'll try to. And this is your PC protector. That'd be cool if it did catch it. Oh, caught it. <laughs> Sweet. 
Very good. Trying not to do all like Trojans and stuff, but I don't really see much out there tonight. Let's try this uh, TDSS thing. Sometimes you have to stay on the main page. These threats go away so fast. This site has been reported as unsafe. For more information, disregard and continue. Nothing to see, really. Mm, pretty boring. Gosh, this is boring. I guess that's good for these guys, though. <laughs> Nothing to really, you know, complain about here. Just some stupid lame configuration file that probably won't amount to anything. I wonder if I scanned it, what would Panda do? Nothing there. Okay. Let's start back up at the top. Phoenix Exploit Kit. Let's try that. I'm really um, interested in mainly the Trojans because the exploits are easily taken care of if my clients are doing their Windows updates and that's one thing I always stress to them and it's not a big deal. going on there. I probably won't keep this up for too much longer. Okay, one virus deleted. And, you know, I'm just going to stop right here only because um, I've tested probably 10 things. It's the the uh, exploits do nothing because this box probably has minimal amount of updates. I don't think I've done hardly any of them unless it did it by itself one day and I wasn't paying attention but um, let me try one more here. I don't think I did that one. Nah, it's not there. Anyway, um, it does a fantastic job at catching uh, any EXE. I don't think it really missed that many. It might have missed one or two. 
maybe one. Um, but basically what I'm going to do now is just kind of do a, you know, get a secondary opinion. Like I'll head over to the file hippo. And speaking of why I was doing this review was I want to take a look at the RAM. And all I'm really compared about are running values. I'm not concerned about scans. Everybody knows when you do a scan, your computer gets a little slower. It's just um, when the computer's doing nothing that I'm kind of interested in. And it uses, yeah, you can see 12 megabytes. It's got some pretty heavy CPU usage for some reason. Maybe it's doing something right now. But on some of the boxes I've installed this in this week, it's it's normally really light. Must be doing something. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and download Malwarebytes. We're on File Hippo. And then we'll also do a scan with a um, GMER rootkit scanner. Another thing people ask me hey Matt you reviewed this and what happened you don't like this anymore no I just I just look at applications and see does this application or work or does it not work doesn't mean I like something more than another thing people um, send me emails and PMs with their boxes that are just laden with so much security I can't believe they can actually run them I mean, my box has sandboxy, you know, Microsoft Security Essentials, that's it. Windows updates. Never had a single problem, ever. Got my wife and her crazy aunt that use a computer, and um, they go everywhere. And, you know, I've had, I've had alerts pop up and things like that, but never got infected. I can only equate the antivirus people out there that do that kind of stuff as like almost like people who have hot rods or like you know classic cars where they just have to soup them up <laughs> with every possible accessory or something. I don't know. and do that GMER scan really quick. Since this is a 32-bit version of Windows 7, it's possible for me to get rootkitted. And normally I'll see it right away. It'll be like a red entry. Mmm. I did get rootkit. Look at that. There's one right there. LSI SCSI. Suspicious modification. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That sucks. Alright, well, go ahead and scan. Boy, that's wild. You don't see that much. I don't see that rootkit a lot, so I have seen it maybe two or three times. And it sucks because what'll happen is I go out to customer site and I think they just have regular malware. Maybe I didn't run a GMR GMER scan. I've learned my lesson now. And all of a sudden, they call me back a few days later saying they still have pop-ups. Well, then I find out that, you know, 
they've they've got an atapi.sys that's infected or um, or or this LSI underscore SCSI. Maybe I should write about that because not many people know about that one. Take a screenshot of that screen. Yeah, gosh. Where's the ad? Not that. You guys are just kind of watching how I do things. <laughs> it's not terribly exciting. But like when I want to make a post or I want to write about something, you know. Got to find things to write about. Keep the blog going. Google loves fresh posts. Okay. That'll be something to write about then. Close that. So one of those TDSS things must have got me. I've never done like a full scan with GMER. I just kind of look at that normal, whatever, you know, that first opening scan. It's usually all I need to know. I am doing the uh, Malwarebytes scan right now just to kind of see if there's anything kind of sticking out that's not hidden besides that rootkit there. I'm not like um <clears throat> terribly disappointed or anything. I think um the panda cloud antivirus has come a long way. Um when I first tested it it missed almost everything I tested it against. Now it's catching, you know, let's say close to eighty percent. I don't know if the free version does anti rootkit. Let's go look. Cloud AV. Hmm. Let's see if we can even find it on here. Uh, products. Okay. Uh, anti root kits. Yeah, free version is supposed to protect us. So, really, um, so far, just nothing. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and pause this because, like, I've drugged people away into this video. It's been like two. It's been forever. I don't know how, what time I started this, but I'm going to pause it. <laughs> okay, well, that scan just took, um, I think it said it took 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 21 seconds, and I found nothing. So that's pretty good. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to try. Yeah, I know. Let's see, look at GMER. Yeah, so there's the root kit. So I guess I don't really need to go any further here. I was going to do like a combo fix thing just to confirm it. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. I think I'll leave that like that. Take a screenshot. Open the screen. Anyway. Before I upload this, I know it's sort of boring, but um, this is kind of just a test for myself, and I thought I'd go ahead and film it, or 
whatever. You know, make it for YouTube. So, um, I'll go ahead and upload this, post it on the website. Uh, once again, you guys got any questions or anything, just post them on the forums. Uh, or shoot me a direct message through Twitter. Um, and then uh, I'm going to be... Well, I've been trying to review Defense Wall. It's just been having some trouble running on my virtual machine, um, which the developer and myself, I think we've got... might have nailed down. So um, look for that soon. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys uh, later. And also, um, another thing, I like to leave comments on my own website. So another way to contact me is just through a comment underneath uh, one of the posts. So talk to you guys later.